All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are. We're back at Park MGM. Um, unfortunately, it's been one of the properties that's been largely closed during the week. But now that they're starting to reopen and getting ready to go back to 24-hour service with the hotel and the casino, I think we should pop back in there and see what's changed. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Park MGM is the newest hotel casino built in the MGM Resorts International portfolio. The property was built over the shell of the old Monte Carlo Las Vegas in 2018 for a cost of $600 million. Was the big remodel worth it after the reopening? Let's go see. Here's the Park MGM Las Vegas. Alright guys, here we are. And we are entering the Park MGM. This is from Backside, and then from Aria. Let's get ahead and check it out, see what it's like. Alright, let's finish the sharks. We are coming down the main corridor right now. This is actually going to take us pretty much straight to the Park MGM pool. Now, the pool is radically different from the way it had been um, when it was Monte Carlo back in the day. So, you'll notice that there are no water slides, <laughs> there's no wave pool, there's no lazy river. So, it's significantly toned down. And admittedly, I think it's a little bland. It's pretty. It's very pretty. It looks natural and simple. But it looks about as simple and natural as a concrete pool can be. And it's got a clean look to it, but yeah, it just doesn't do anything for me, honestly. So I'd probably say out of all the improvements, this is the one that really disappointed me the most, admittedly. So I have our main pool over there. I did take a full pool video. I'll go ahead and link it in the upper right hand corner of the screen right about there but yeah that's our view of the south pool but let's go ahead and get into the casino proper and then on our left here we're also seeing the conference center so if you are looking forward to going to a conference here at the park mgm when it reopens don't bother with that, unfortunately, because we're not going to be seeing those for quite some time. The Park MGM is going to be reopening here next week for full-time business. We are going to notice the main hotel area here. And this is going to take us to the hotel lobby. Now the lobby is pretty clean and it's pretty straightforward. It has a couple stores including the uh, Primrose Lobby Bar here. One of the popular spots for brunch, especially if you're at the hotel. It's presently closed. Most operations are closed right now due to the property being shut down midweek. Coming from the main valet over here. If you're being dropped off in taxi, or also if you're checking into the Nomad Hotel, VIP check-ins here, and all of the. Oh, this is an interesting change. So before Spinners and Sharks, there used to be a whole bunch of self-check-in machines. Those appear to have been removed since social distancing began. So it looks like they'll probably be checking in at VIP going forward here and probably at the lobby desk over here as well if you're going to be checking into one of more than 2700 rooms just at park mgm alone nevertheless the luxury suites at the nomad then when we cut past the guest elevators here we'll notice that we have the floors one through three this way. The Nomad Hotel, top levels this way. And then the other basic rooms down this way. And when we walk back out, we're going to be walking into the casino. And 
And despite its high dollar makeover, the modest looking 102,000 square foot casino space is nothing to shake a stick at. They've got a lot of high-end games in here and a ton of tables as well. We'll be taking a look at a couple of those as we go back into the casino. Oh, they've got a Lunar New Year display and then the Hyde Lunar slot room is open. So that's pretty nice. Well as the High Limit Table Games. Now notice that Park MGM is a smoke free casino here. So you will not be smoking. <laughs> Love it. And then once we pass the casino lobby bar, we're going to be walking towards one of 55 table games that they have on the property. Looks like poker is the popular one of the day. Craps tables are closed. And it looks like the vets is still closed here. I was really looking forward to having some steak over here. Same deal with Juniper. But because of the midweek closures, I had to cancel some uh, my Vegas rewards. So that was a little annoying. But otherwise, the trip has been uh, pretty successful here at Bellagio. Oh, looks like they've also got some new slot machines that are coming through. Or maybe they're remodeling over here. So that's pretty neat. Getting ready for the reopening. How exciting. I know they're doing their best to kind of make uh, Park MGM their like main spot here. And it, it's exciting to see how much effort they're putting into it. I still don't like the theme. I think it's a little bland, but I can see why people actually enjoy the hotel. So if it's something that you like, it's something that you like. And if it's not, well, you know, it's up to you as well. All right. So we kind of cut around into the casino so you can get a good sense of the layout. And then also where we can see the cashier's cage and the M Life Rewards desk in case you need to pull some money out or get some of your express comps too. We're also going to notice the Park Theater here on our right hand side, which also includes the House of Gaga shop over here where you're seeing some exhibits of uh, Lady Gaga's favorite clothes. The meat suit is not one of them. And then the Park MGM Theater, which is closed right now due to a lack of events. And another one of the highlights, well, two of the highlights are actually right over here. One's the Park MGM Sportsbook and Bar. And then the other is the On the Record Speakeasy. Not so much of a speakeasy, I don't think, because everything's posted online for you to be able to see. But, you know, it's easy to get in there sometimes, just when it's open. Anytime I've been here, it hasn't been open. This is always like a midweek thing or whatever, and they're struggling so hard right now with uh, the visitor attendance or the lack thereof, so that is probably another reason we can't get in. You'll see another way out to the Las Vegas Boulevard. But the main way that we're going to go back out is to Italy. So Italy is the new Italian food and wine court here. So you can look forward to lots of actually pretty high-end little spots over here. Not high-end isn't they're expensive, but pretty good for being cheap. Unfortunately, a lot of the fishmongering, the pizzerias and all that, they are still closed right now in preparation for the relaunch. But when they relaunch and reopen on the 5th of March, or it might be the 7th, so I'll double check that. But I definitely look forward to seeing some more wine and getting some more good food. And just on our way back out to the Vegas Strip right now. And let's go hit New York, New York, because I'd really like to see the roller coaster. Here we go.
do not push the forces with me. And here we go. That spinners and shorts was the entirety of Park MGM. Okay, spinners and sharks, that's about it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. How do you feel about the Park MGM? Would you plan a visit there? Or do you prefer the old Monte Carlo? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, 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 Viva,